Anyway, when I couldn't pinpoint the exact location of my humble summer cottage in the Hamptons, she dropped me right there. Cold. Damn, I look like an idiot still holding the drinks I'd been paying for all night. Well, who cares? You know, her loss. Hey, pop the clutch. Let's get on with it. What's up with the worksheet today, bro? Hmm, let's see. Isabella Angelina, a condo in Midtown Manhattan, drain plug, and a leaky garbage disposal. Yeah. Do we have to get the crappiest route every Monday morning? I wish for once we get a fancy condo on the east side with a view. Whoa. Isabella Angel whatever. She's that hot spokes babe for the warning against Reds movement? I saw her on TV yesterday. Hmm. No idea. Besides, I don't follow all that conspiracy crap like you do. <laughs> what do you mean, conspiracy crap? What? Doesn't the Soviet invasion of South America bother you? You need a reality check, bro. Know what? Next thing you know, you'll be waking up under a Russian flag, and you won't think it's conspiracy crap then. Right. You're so in denial. Look, try listening to those warning against Reds guys. What? Speaking of which, how about this first stop? I'd really like to check out the plumbing on that Isabella chick. Hmm. Hello? Plumber's on patrol. Anybody home? Yeah. Whew. No wonder. Sister Sludge sure needs a trained surgeon here. There is one here! Freeze! Don't move! Remain calm, citizen! Whoa, hey, stay cool, man. I'm just the plumber. Where is your girlfriend, citizen? Girlfriend? Hey, she's not me. I will ask again. Where? Is Isabella Angelina? Hmm? What, her? Look, I think, I mean, she's, look, she's not. Well, Isabella cannot be far from here. Bomb the place to pieces. I want to see a lawyer, buddy. It is fortunate that you found me. Quickly, this way. Perfect! He won't trouble us anymore! Hurry! We mustn't linger here! More soldiers! Shoot them! Get your hands off me, you stinking cummy! No, Chris! Save yourself! We must leave now! See those soldiers down there? We are not as well supplied as the enemy, so we'll have to improvise. Aim at the fuel barrels rather than the soldiers. You're wounded! Take that medical kit behind the ambulance! You are ready for battle again. We're not out of the woods yet. It's us or them. Ooh. He's wounded. You have a health pack. Save this man's life. Take it easy. Yo, that was close. I guess I owe you one, pal. What's our status? 
Okay, come with me, guys. I've got supplies that'll get us out of this mess. Grab a Molotov. Let's show the Reds! Throw those babies! Oh yeah, baby! Steve Reich, and he's out! No time to waste. They'll be back if we don't hurry. Citizens of New York and comrades from the Soviet Armed Forces, welcome to our first news broadcast after today's events. My name is Tatiana Kempinski, and I will be your regular news anchor from now on. We hope in time to obtain the cooperation of most of your familiar TV personalities once they return from a re-education program at our training facilities in Alaska. Meanwhile, I will make sure you get all necessary information about our efforts to restore peace and stability in your troubled country. Our Soviet leaders have been concerned for years by the plight of the poor American people suffering under a corrupt regime. Today we have finally succeeded in liberating the suppressed masses of Americans from further hardship, and we will soon restore law and order in a new rule of government. And we expect and believe that every citizen will swear allegiance to this new order. Cooperate and you will reap all the benefits of the Soviet system. All measure of resistance will be futile and dealt with swiftly. Our great leader, Comrade General Tatarin, will be addressing the nation later. So on behalf of the dedicated staff here at the studio and the glorious Soviet armed forces, welcome New York to a better future. This is our base. It's a safe zone. We store equipment here. With complete control of the sewer system, the tunnels enable us to bypass many of the Soviet roadblocks. All of our maps will indicate the location of the sewer access points. Let us go over to the table and take a look at the map. Secure the police station and liberate our leader, Isabella. Raise your flag to signal her release. The police officers will assist you, but they need your help taking out the snipers on the nearby gas station. Please help! We're pinned down here! Hey, listen, buddy. Grab some explosives and get back to the sewers. Go to the gas station. That's where you'll need to blow the fuel tank. Just go through the sewer you came from. Post office.
Yo, man, I gotta talk to you. Check that. You found some C4. All you gotta do now is blow the gas station. No way, pal. No one gets by until Isabella is free. The post office is a Soviet stronghold. It is you. Secure the police station. Thanks, friend. Nice to get rid of the snipers. Listen. If you're going to infiltrate the police station, I recommend you use the subway tunnel. It is just like a... Ugh. station through the parking garage, but stay low or the soldiers will spot you. Over here! No, dear Help me! Help 
Thanks. Don't yeah. forget the flag. Excellent work demolishing the fuel station. We're able to move around at our leisure now that the snipers are gone. The post office is a Soviet stronghold. It is used as a supply depot to support troops advancing into the city. Your brother is being held somewhere inside. Raise your flag on the roof to signal our victory. To get near the police station, you'll have to destroy a sniper's nest on the gas station. Follow me, Chris. I'll take you to the safe house. Isabella! You're back! Yes, and I owe it all to this man. Hey, you must be Chris. Come on in! This is only a temporary base. We're using it as a staging place for this mission. Let's plan our next move. Like it or not, you have a new profession now. Freedom fighter. Nice work. Here we have an overview of the enemy compound. You can see them unloading equipment. They're using this post office as a temporary command center and planning further advances into the city from here. It would really set them back if we recaptured this area. You won't be alone. Ever since you proved yourself by rescuing me, people are starting to believe in you. I'll let you lead two of my best men into action. Fall in! Sounds like a plan. Get over here! As long as they are recruited, these guys will follow you wherever you go. Just like bodyguards. Now go fight! Good luck. Remember, you are the leader. Uh, enemy you can fire. issue your men commands. Order Sweep them to that attack area. the good. Your men will fight every enemy in the direction you're pointing them. Destroy that obstacle! Yeah. Hit their position! Scan that area. And see what's around here. Remember to check the map once in a while. Scout ahead. Eliminate! Hit them! Move in! See what's over there. that area. Watch for activity. Report any activity. I'm over here! Big cut up! Yeah. Oh. 
Hey, bro. It's damn good to see you. I knew you'd come looking for me. Go watch for Ivan. This is Tatiana Kempinski at SAFN Studios in New York. In today's headlines, a downtown precinct was attacked by rebels earlier today. The attackers freed several rebel detainees. There are reports of many casualties. Several witnesses confirmed that the raid was carried out by a small group of armed rebels, headed by an individual who authorities believe to be the new leader of the resistance. Isabella Angeline, seen in these pictures, is an important member of the underground resistance movement, and the operation looked like a carefully planned and executed rescue attempt. The group was led by a shadowy figure as yet unidentified, but believed to be a male Caucasian in his early 30s. Earlier today, I interviewed our leader, General Tatarin, on the situation. This sort of action against the Soviet Liberation Army will not be tolerated. And such attacks only increase tension here. However, I assure you that this was an isolated event and we have restored peace and stability. That was General Tatarin earlier today. On the phone now from Governor's Island is Comrade Colonel Boba, head of KGB. Comrade Kandinsky, these people are not rebels from proletariat. This freedom phantom is vigilante, a terrorist. But they are few and will be executed when caught. After a trial, of course. And on this reassuring note, let's look at the forecast. What's in store for us on weather front tomorrow, comrade Ilyana? Chris, for three months the Soviets have been pouring soldiers and equipment into the city. We have to plan every move very carefully. The people need to see that there is hope. If we stumble now, that'll be lost. Yeah, man. The Reds are everywhere and they brought plenty of toys. Yesterday our boys tried to blow a bridge on their supply route. Only today, Red trucks are rolling back and forth like nothing happened. I tell you, if I demoed that bridge, there'd be nothing left to put back together. Instead, they got more soldiers than ever sitting on it. Yo, give me some TNT, and I'll blow that baby, or die trying. Hang on, let's get real. Uh, that bridge is important, but we really need to capture the command center, too. The Soviets deploy their troops from the old fire station. We need to take control back. Hey, 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 don't expect to crash their party and say, hasta la vista to everyone in a red beret. They got snipers and choppers up there. This ain't no kitty park. Chris, before you go, Troy wants a word with you. Be careful up there. Remember, retreat to the sewers if things get too hot. I'll be waiting for you. Seize the warehouse buildings. This is where the Soviets store their small arms and artillery that they unload from the ships. Taking these buildings will greatly reduce enemy firepower. Blow up the helicopter fueling station here as well. This will ground the Soviet chopper fleet. Take control of the old hotel. 
The Soviets have established a base of operations inside. We have seen Soviet soldiers storing ammunition in an abandoned diner. You can stock up on explosives here. There's a POW camp in the area. Release the prisoners and lead them to the sewers. We're rolling! Let's move! Sounds like a plan. Come with me! Bring it on! Back to the sewers. The Reds will be looking for us up here. Find the Reds. Risk. 
Take control of the old hotel. Take control of the old hotel. You're gonna be fine. Thank you, it's already done. Try this. I feel much better now, thank you. I will follow your command. Sweep that area. Watch for Soviets.
Get back here! You'll be fine. Sounds like a plan. Great job. We control the hotel now. Even better, we found the huge munitions depot inside. Seize the warehouse buildings. This is where the Soviets store their small arms and artillery that they unload from the ships. Taking these buildings will greatly reduce enemy firepower. Blow up the helicopter fueling station here as well. This will ground the Soviet chopper fleet. I'm Let's your man, move, sir. Right. Let's go.
Нас атакуют! Let's move! Heck yeah! Let's rock and roll!
cover. We're taking fire. Blowing up that fuel station really weakened the enemy. We should have an easier time in this area. Capture the old fire station. Soviet reinforcements in this section are coordinated from here. Then destroy the remaining bridge. It makes an important supply route for the Soviets. Take it out and the influx of troops to surrounding areas will greatly diminish. Let's me. move! You got Fall it! In. I'm Roger with you! That. Let's roll. Here, take this. Yeah! You came along just in time. I appreciate your help. They offer you friendly help and military assistance for stability. Billy Gordo! Smash Grissom! Move out! Right, let's roll.
Let's take them out. Destroy that obstacle. Just breathe. Destroy! Come on, follow me. Not me. Let's go. I'm not the soldier you're looking for. It is your <laughs>
Eliminate target! Everybody! Good evening. 
This is Tatiana Kempinski at SAFN Studios in New York. Autumn is definitely here. There is a chill in the air, but the citizens of New York are coping, thanks to the many Soviet engineers working overtime to repair the many power stations that were damaged during the recent rash of rebel attacks. Freedom Phantom, the mythical figure that has eluded our troops and orchestrated so many surprise attacks on central installations, is thought to be responsible. Earlier today, Comrade General Tatarin had this comment. All that this Freedom Phantom character and his rabbit followers are really achieving is punishing the citizens of New York with these attacks. They really must stop for the sake of the people. We simply cannot get the food and the power situation under control until we can guarantee the safety of the hard-working men and women of this administration. Comrade Tatarin, Colonel Balba says that the situation will only get under control once the Phantom is found and eliminated. And if this doesn't happen soon, severe measures will be taken against any collaborators and all others helping them. What are your comments on that? We hope to resolve this in civilized way without further collateral damage. We are here to restore stability, not disrupt it. No further questions, please. Spasibo. We will be back after a short break. Stay with us. Sometimes I wonder how Mr. Jones gets all his information. <sighs> Beats me. He sure is connected, though. We'd be nowhere without it. Hmm. What did he do before the war? Nah, I don't know. Probably worked on Wall Street or something. I think Chris and him go way back. Oh, there you are. Good work handling that Soviet stronghold. Very inspired. We've really stirred them up this time. They've added plenty of reinforcements. We'll need to start operating at night, so stick to the shadows and avoid their floodlights. There are three areas to deal with here. The Soviets are unloading BTRs at the docks. That'll be our first target. Next is the power plant. Some of our fighters tried to take it last night, but were caught. We think they're being held somewhere close by. Last is the movie theater. It's a bit of a mystery to us, but a lot of troops are moving in and out of the area, so we need to take action. This will be a tough assignment, Chris. We know you can handle it. Bring down the bridges. We need to choke off reinforcements and equipment being transported from warehouses out to the surrounding areas. Some elite Soviet forces have their HQ located here, so it's heavily guarded. Hoist our flag over it. It'll be a tremendous boost to our fighters' morale. Fall in. Okay. Move out. I'm We're rolling. Lead Let's on. move. I was born ready. Come 
Reloaded. Got us in their sights. Me need See what's over there. Follow me. Right Let's go. Know. Let's go. gonna be fine. I'll patch you up. <laughs> Relax. I got you.
of here. I gotta show you something. Just breathe. We need to get back to the sewers. The Reds will be looking for us up here. Take this.
Excellent. Controlling the warehouse puts us in a good position. Take out the power station on the Manhattan side of the water. Power lines run parallel with the bridge and into the adjoining areas, supplying power to most of downtown. Destroying the power lines will kill the floodlights in the docking area, making it easier to infiltrate. Secure the movie theater. Soviets are using it to temporarily house prisoners before sending them to Alaskan labor camps. You'll want to eliminate the chopper service pad. It'll bring down the number of units protecting the power station. Let's move. I was this way. All right, where to? Get them!
over here. It's about Move time. Out. Let's go. Sounds like the theater was a hard fight. You came through, Chris. Good work. Take out the power station on the Manhattan side of the water. Power lines run parallel with the bridge and into the adjoining areas, supplying power to most of downtown. Destroying the power lines will kill the floodlights in the docking area, making it easier to infiltrate. Ugh! 
No way you gonna blow that power plant. Look, taking out the power lines in the back.
Go scout. Defend this area. Abort, all of you. Attack.
breaking news in the war against the rebels. Earlier tonight, a rebel stronghold was successfully captured by our troops. The head of the group is one of the most prominent leaders and symbols of the underground resistance, none other than the brother of the alleged Freedom Phantom. The Phantom has been unmasked. His real name is Christopher Stone, a 32-year-old plumber. After a brief interrogation by our intelligence officers, the brother, Troy Stone, confessed to his participation in many crimes carried out by the rebel group. Now repentant, Troy Stone has agreed to send a plea to his brother to stop further terrorist activities. We take you live to a press conference at City Hall. Citizens of New York, a dark chapter in your history is drawing to a close. Here now is the brother of the Freedom Phantom with a special plea to his brother to desist from further fighting. <clears throat> my, uh, my brother and I, we were just bored and we sort of drifted into crime at a young age due to a, a lack of direction or, or ideals and, and playing video games all night, violent ones. Uh, the society we grew up in kind of abandoned us, you know, but it's never too late to straighten out. So, um, so Chris, for my sake and the sake of the new system, I, I, I beg you to stop your terrorist activities. We okay, just surrender to the authorities and, and they'll treat you fairly. The Soviet government gives you their word of honor. Just please do as they ask. It is obvious that the heroic Soviet army has Everything once again- Everything I said was lies. They forced me, Chris. Don't believe this stinking propaganda. Keep fighting! Set us all free! Ah, ah, no stick! Get your hands! My Stalin's beer! <clears throat> and now to the weather for tomorrow. I hear it is uh, getting colder, comrade Ilyana? Excellent work. Your handling of the command center was very effective at quelling further advances by the Soviets. Well done indeed. Yeah, well, it's not all good news, Jones. Tell him. Tell him what happened. We're seriously hurting here. I'm sorry to have to tell you, Chris, but your brother is dead. Shortly after he appeared on television, he was taken to Governor's Island. We understand that he was executed personally by General Tatarin. It is said that he died like a man, without a flinch or tear. I know it is painful, but you can be proud of man, him. Man, I can't take this! Your Tatarin's gonna pay for killing Troy. He's gonna regret he ever stepped foot in New York. Now, I say we hit him with everything we've got and- Bags, Chris, I'm sorry. I know it hurts, but we need to keep a cool head. We don't want to do anything irrational, yet, I have a strange feeling about this. Yes, well... You must understand that the only action now that will truly hurt the Soviet agenda is to assassinate Tatarin. Eliminating him will spread chaos in the Soviet ranks and give way to a united American resistance. Oh. Oh. Well, that's a brilliant plan, Jones. What do we do? Invite ourselves over for a cocktail, then slip some cyanide in his vodka? No, we're gonna need some serious firepower to take him down. That guy's got his eye on every rat and cockroach on the island. Jones might be right. If we did manage to remove Tatarin, it could be the turning point for our cause. Let's double check our intelligence. There has to be a way to get him. After yesterday's hit on their installations, they'll be expecting company. This will need to be a surgical strike. We can't risk sending in a squad. I'm afraid this is a solo operation. Or... A two-man operation. You know, I know this is personal, Chris, and that's cool, kid, but if you need me, 
I'm with you all the way, buddy. Bring on Tatarin and his boys. I got plenty of bullets for him. I quite agree with Isabella. This mission calls for stealth, not ham-handed bravado. There's a sniper rifle in the weapons gallery. Chris, I'll arrange for a rowboat to the island. You must assassinate Tatarin. Without his leadership, the Soviet armed forces will crumble. This is no easy task and demands stealth, if you are to succeed. Bide your time and find a good sniping position. It is the key to your success. You must assess. Oh! 
<laughs> Remember me, Chris? Yes, I know your name. Perhaps this is more familiar? Hello, Christopher. You see, I've resumed my original profession. You never questioned where all that juicy information was coming from. That's what I love about the Americans. One finger up the nose and the other on the remote control. You were also busy entertaining yourselves to death, while our great nation was busy. Busy liberating Europe from the same fate. Our horizon grew, while yours has faded out. and we will resolve this in a civilized manner. Oh! Ooh. 
important matters to attend to. Let us end the attack. Just keep up with me. I got a hideout over this. This is Tatiana Kempinski at SAFN Studios in New York. The Soviet armed forces have tonight declared a total victory over the underground rebellion. After numerous barbaric attacks by the rebels on Soviet bases in each borough of New York, the situation is finally under control. We continue to receive reports of minor incidents around the city, but it is clear that the rebels have been defeated. Tragically, our beloved Commander-in-Chief General Tatarin has paid the ultimate price in his relentless fight against the Freedom Phantom and his henchmen. He was assassinated earlier tonight in a dastardly rebel ambush. We go live now to Governor's Island, where the funeral ceremony is about to commence. Comrades, this is indeed a day of infamy. We 
are gathered here today to bid farewell to our great leader. We came to restore law and order, to secure peace and stability in this region, and save the American citizens from brutality and exploitation. And this is the brave general's reward? He shall not have died in vain. As second in command, I respectfully take his place, and I vow today to track down the cowardly scum who committed this outrage. I swear revenge today on the so-called Freedom Phantom Christopher Stone and puny army of remaining rebels for the brutal killing of our beloved leader, Tatarin. Stone, your days are numbered. You and your followers will be flushed out and destroyed like sewer rats. Long live the Soviet Union! Long live the revolution! Long live Soviet government of the United States! Sweet! Sweet, I like the new digs, little man. Check this out, you even got a computer. Hey, hey, Chris. Hey, Chris, I think the mold here looks better than our old place. Me and some of my peeps from the block used to sneak down here, hang out. I don't think they're coming back, though. The Reds were gunning for them pretty hard. You guys hungry? I scavenged some pizza from the shop the Reds toasted on 2nd and East 10th. Help yourself. Nah, man, maybe later. I I'm not eating until we find Isabella. On the Reds for busting up our base. Yo, check this out. After shaking down this old Red computer and surfing around in some of their files, I found floor plans for the SAFN studio building. I say we break in there and start wrecking their stuff, you know what I'm saying? Shut that propaganda chick up. Oh, oh, great plan, Einstein. We're a little low on guys and guns right now. <laughs> Get a load of him, Chris. Junior thinks he's running the show now. Hey, yo, check this out, kid. Listen up. Look, they're all kicked back, right? They think they fixed us so good. So now's the time to hit them. Check this out. They got a blind spot in their surveillance. Let's catch them while they're blinking, dog. Now, now you are talking. And when you put it that way, we, we might have a chance. What do you think, Chris? I'm coming with you. I don't want to miss out on a chance to be on national TV. Right behind you, Chris. I'll just check my gear before we head out. It's time to stop the Soviet propaganda. Check this. We're gonna take over the SAFN studios. Once we control the airwaves, we can get the truth out to the people. Oh yeah, I hear they got a lot of wounded civilians around, so pack plenty of help packs. Check this out. I found out where they got a Soviet elite training facility. It's in the high school. Take it back and cancel the classes, dog. for real. From what I hear, they keep political prisoners there for interrogation, too. I say we bust them out, do all that, and we'll be living gangster.
Hey, Chris, need anyone? Let's go. Let's move. Let's Get go. over here. Okay. Anytime, sport. Come with me. Sounds like a plan. We're rolling. Let's move. Okay, I'm in.
gotta get out of here. I should have told you. You need to blow the generator. Something, man. Quick. Thanks. Get us back to the sewers, quick. Reds will be crawling all over the place. Take them down! Take it easy. Oh, 
Иди сюда, гаденок! never very patriotic. Seeing that flag flying up there really puts a lump in my throat. I'm telling you, Chris, we're one step away. I can feel it. When this is all over, we're gonna do some serious partying. It's time to stop the Soviet propaganda. Check this. We're gonna take over the SAFN studios. Once we control the airwaves, we can get the truth out to the people. Oh, yeah. I hear they got a lot of wounded civilians around, so pack plenty of help packs. Come on, follow me. All right, lead the way. Let's move! Count on me, I'm in. Let's go! Yes, sir. I'm We're ready. rolling. Let's move! Yeah, I'm with you.
Get easy. Ah! 
Find the Reds. New Yorkers, fellow Americans, I am Chris Stone, the so-called Freedom Phantom. I stand before you today a free man, and I vow to die a free man. Like you, my world was shattered eight long months ago. I watched as my family and friends were tortured, captured, and killed. I have nothing left of my former life, except the hope for a better future. A better future for our children. The American dream. I, for one, still believe in that dream. We've read this in our school books as children. Now is the time for us to embrace those ideals and stand up against the weight of tyranny. We have a duty to ourselves to throw off our oppressors. When I look around this city, I do not see smoldering ruins. No, instead, I see a sleeping army, ready to awaken. The world is watching us now. How we respond will prove our claim. I stand before you and the world today to reaffirm the pledge our forefathers made to each other and for each of us. To protect our lives, 
our fortunes and our self-worth. So I ask you now to take up arms against the evil invaders and yell in their faces that they will never take our freedom. This is it, fellas. Governor's Island. The baddest boys in red are hold up in here, waiting for backup. We ain't alone, either. I've got guys hollering at me from all around the states telling me that everyone's planning a major blow up on the reds all at once. We gotta show up, too. But the dug in tight up in here, man. Oh, I'm talking heavy guns, minefields, artillery. But the real deal is here, Fort Jack. Now this. This is where they control the subs and those nukes they're carrying. Oh man, we've already been there once. We gotta sail out there again? They've got Isabella. If we move on them now, they'll just waste her. We don't want that. Heck, we, we control most of New York. Can't we wait till they leave? You know what I'm saying? Like, let them go home, just leave the back door open, let them slip out quietly. Dog, you're tripping. Look, they're here for good. Did you hear what I'm saying? They're bringing major backup. They ain't asking for a ride home. They want to smoke us for show. I'm saying they fixing a wreck on us, kid. They going to bust out with their big guns. Did your mama drop you on your head or something? Maybe you shouldn't shoot off your mouth until your brain is fully loaded. All right, all right, I get it. You know, I'm, I'm telling you, this is crazy, kid. I, I'm only doing this for Isabella. Chris, 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 I'm with you. I got to get in a few shots before the Reds bail out of here. Oh, hey, Junior. You'll need to step aside on this one. It's gonna be a man's job. Whatever, dog. Yo, Chris, we got some C4 at the base in Yonkers. Way I see it, we got one shot at this. Don't flinch. We gotta step in the ring for a shot at the title. Punk kids, no respect. Oh, I got brains. I can handle myself. Yo, Governor's Island looks like an impenetrable fortress, but they have a weak spot the ventilation system. You gotta blow a hole in the giant vent so our boys can roll up inside. That's the only way for them to get onto the island.
explosives. He lost it. The whole operation is foobar. We may as well pack it up and go home. Hey, my love is... We're rolling. Let's move. Get over here. Let's do it. You got it. I'm with you. So much breed. Sure thing, right behind you.
can do. The boys in red have mortar cannons sitting all around here. We're stopped dead until you can take those babies out. Once they're snuffed, our boys are rolling again. The reds are deploying troops from here. Now, we gotta stop their flyboys from buzzing around. Blow the helipad and we're looking at clear skies. Sweet! Here's a chance to get our hands on some major ammo! Find the ammunition depot so we can supply our boys for the final attack on the island. We need that ammo. We can't go in shooting blanks!
The Reds are deploying troops from here. Now, we gotta stop them. Yo, Governor's Island looks like an impenetrable fortress, but they have a weak spot, the ventilation system. Try this. Thank you so much. Finally, somebody's taking charge. Everybody! over there. Come on. Soviets. All of you, destroy! Uh, let's go, let's go! Uh, oh. ah! Scout ahead. You heard me!
Abort! Team! The Reds are deploying troops from here. Now, we gotta stop their flyboys from buzzing around. Blow the helipad, and we're looking at clear skies. Yeah, I'm in. Right. Let's go.
Sweet! Here's a chance to get our hands on some major ammo. Find the ammunition depot so we can... Aye, the boys in red have mortar cannons sitting all around here. Yeah, lock and load. Hey, right behind like you. Plan. Right, let's go. It's about time, let's go. Let's do it. Destroy. Get moving. You're going down. Take this. I 
think I'll pull through now. Oh, they got Isabella locked away in Fort J. Free her first. This is the last Soviet stronghold. Raise all four of our flags and it's game over for the Reds. Let's send those boys packing back to the motherland. Yeah! All right. The boys in... Shutting. Right boys, behind you. I'm in. Over there, everybody. Avoid any activity. Let's go. Let's go. Recon, all of you, get back here. Go, go, go. Bring it on. You take them out. Regroup! You heard me! Destroy that obstacle! Get moving! Pull out! Come on! Ooh! <laughs> 
patch you up. Тревога! Пой -пой! Ugh! 
Oh, they got Isabella locked away in Fort J. Free her first. This is the last Soviet stronghold. Raise all four of our flags and it's game over for the Reds. Let's send those boys packing back to the motherland. Yeah!
Well done, Chris. Now go and raise those four flags in the name of freedom.
Hey, Chris. I've been looking all over for you. What's wrong? Why don't you celebrate with me and the rest of the crowd? There's nothing for me to celebrate. They'll be back with bigger guns and more soldiers. I know how you feel, but you stood up for what you believed in. You fought for freedom, and you won, Chris. We all won. Today, this morning, kids here will wake up to the burning ruins of New York. And it's my fault. No, it isn't. This is our land. You helped us remember what's so great about it. It may be hard to define, but when you haven't got it anymore, you know exactly what it is. It's about loss. And I don't want to lose you. You... You'd better go. You're saying that like you might change your mind. That's why it's better that you go. Did I interrupt something? Hey, hey, don't get all mushy on me now. Don't go writing love letters in the sand while I babysit the kid. No, wait, I was just saying... Aw, oh, man. Am I gonna stand here at the end looking like an idiot? Look, I mean, I'm just like everyone else. I have dreams too. I want the same things. Okay, sometimes I can't say it right. It's, uh... It's all about loving your fellow man, right? even if it takes losing your whole world to find them. 